Thanks. I'm just gonna stick my tongue in it. Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Roach. Damn it, that cockroach won't leave me alone. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be attending the Toronto Reptile and Plant Expo. That's where I'm headed right now, but I desperately need gas first. I have no gas. I'm not even kidding. Look, I am probably the dumbest person on the planet. Don't come at me. If I run out of gas, let me learn from my mistake. We'll make it, I hope. Mm. All right, this should be fun. Those are just suggestions. Pedestrians are just speed bumps. We made it to the gas station. I'm alive. We got gas, baby. Woo! We're rolling. What are you doing? I found an isopod on the floor. Did anybody lose the apple pod? You're mine now. His name is Jimmy Fred. 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 Jimmy Fred? What's up, Jimmy Fred? Oh, I would never do that. Jimmy Fred, I would never do that. Just Jimmy accidentally Fred. inhale. <laughs> <laughs> Extra protein. Don't talk about my man like that. I'm updating. That is not the fate people uh, were hoping for. I think it's our Medillium vulgari, maybe? Well, that's its oh, home so now. That's a very it's rare It's a bioactive isopod. cup now. You have to add an extra hot cup. It, it is bioactive. <laughs> it is. Fully bioactive. Bioactive. <laughs> I was discussing that it's only bioactive if you add predators. Yeah. Then we'll it's be. really nature. Eagles <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> so... Can I open it? Oh yeah, it's okay. sealed still, so... Oh, it's sealed still. Do you have nails? No, I don't. <laughs> I have nails. It's like, yep, done. Is it gonna glow in my face as I... <laughs> ah! Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alright. like a kid on Christmas. Party dill flavor. That one's gonna be good. Okay, the big poppy one, that one's delicious. Okay. He has a very all refined these are the good palate. Ones too. <laughs> these are all the good ones. Because the sour one, okay, so the sour head, or the uh, warhead one is good too. I'm here with Riley, who's uh, my number one fan, and uh, now also the uh, heir to my company. So as soon as I die, you will inherit the Kids Picket Reptiles because you gave me a box of pickles. So it pays to do good things for creators because YouTubers are just better than everybody else in every <laughs> single way. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. Now I feel special. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Forbidden Dude, super. Before, and I bled like crazy. Oh, I, no. I believe it. I think I was really angry. Oh, I really want the angry one. <laughs> I want the angry one. No, 
now, but like the pinch is like terrible. Really? No, well, I kind of sure? want to try that. You're gonna hate me. Really? But oh. it's like on some great wilderness. Okay, well maybe not. I just, I'm very naive. Look at Are these your new posing. friends? Yeah, I love them. <laughs> They're so pretty. Those have a bite as well. These guys don't. Do you want just the ones that bite? Yeah, yeah just the ones that bite. Let's, let's play it fun. <laughs> Damn, okay. <laughs> hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, you gave it to me. What? You said it was louder, so give her this one. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was. Okay, go ahead. No. I was going to pass you back. Okay. Go ahead. Hit us. Be here or be. What is it? What is it? Be there or be square. <laughs> <laughs> not. We're testing, guys. Bear with us. I guess. Yeah. But uh, what was the first part of this question? <laughs> oh, okay. My favorite color is red. Okay. I'm here with my good friend Haley, and she brought me this beautiful handmade bag made in Colombia. That was so sweet of you. Thank you so much. I'm going to bring this to the beach because I'm a basic white girl and I go to the beach in the summer. So uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It is for sale. How much? For the low, low sum of two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. But I'm gonna bring bringing in hopefully twenty more for okay. around two hundred dollars each. Oh hi! Okay. Hello, friend. My husband's gonna kill me. He's gonna be like three, three snakes. Yes. So it just spreads. Worm. Yep. Show me your face. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to grow. He's on a mission. He's got places to be, people to see. What reptile do you feel challenges the most as a reptile keeper, and how does it motivate you to learn more? For me, it is undoubtedly my acumonitor, and I think this can be generalized to the entire Varanus genus. They are arguably the most intelligent lizards, if not reptiles, and I think that adds an entire set of responsibilities on the keeper. We are in charge of providing for them, not only for their health and their physical well-being, but for their cognitive and mental well-being. So my Acumonitor has really inspired me to learn more about reptile behavior and cognition and behavioral training and finding new ways to stimulate them and do a target training. A great resource I have been relying on is Lori Torini. Yes, she works, great. She's yes, amazing, yeah. she does a lot of work in animal behavior, especially with reptiles, but that extends out to horses too, which I'm also very experienced in. So her work is incredibly inspiring, and I, I suggest everyone go check her out and learn something about animals and reptile psychology. Absolutely apply it to any animal you have. And as you did touch upon, I do like the aspect of misting by hand because I can interact with many of my animals to some extent and I can kind of target miss some plants that might need a little more attention and love. That is all.
All right, so the expo just finished. I'm still in the parking lot, but I really want to show you what I got. And there's a plane. Great. Air Canada. I want to quickly show you what I got. I need to do this fast because it is so hot in here. You know? <laughs> So I actually did not spend a dime today. I did not buy anything, but I was blessed enough to have a few of my friends, supporters, come gift me some stuff. And I am so grateful and I really want to show you. So the first thing I got, as I showed you earlier in the video, is this beautiful handmade bag that was made in Colombia. Then I also got a little jar of hot sauce, which is also from Colombia. And I hear it's pretty potent, so. Let me try. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stick my tongue in it. I'll probably regret it. Okay, it's not too bad. Mmm. Oh, that'll be really good on like bread or crackers or something. Next thing I got is this 3D printed tube that has these little holes in it and a cap. So what might this be, you may ask? Well, this was created with the intention of being an enrichment toy. So you put a feeder insect inside, you close the lid, and then the reptile will have to go in and try to pry it out. So I'll be using this with my Aki monitor and with my Emerald Tree Skinks. I'm really excited to try it out. Then I also got these 3D printed lids that you can put on Rapashi containers and then you can sprinkle out the product inside. So that's pretty darn cool if you ask me. Then I also got this t-shirt from the Modern Gecko. Can't go wrong with some nice reptile shirts, am I right? Oh my God, I am boiling right now. I don't have AC in my car. And the last thing that I'm probably the most excited about are these two beetles. These are Lucanus placidus. They are a species that is native to Ontario. And this is a breeding pair. So I have a male and a female. So you'll definitely be seeing more of these. And then I also got some little jelly pots with them because these beetles do feed on like decaying fruit matter or jelly. So that's what I got today. A big thank you to everyone who came to say hi, to take pictures and who gave me gifts. You do not need to do that, but it's so nice. And I love nice people and I love you guys. And oh my God, and I'm also boiling. So that concludes this video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the annoying things that us YouTubers ask you to do, but it really helps. So please do it. And I will see you all in my next video.